Yeah, man, Power 5 Pummel Real Famous DJ Clue Desert Storm, the kids Super Future in the building. What's up, man? What's going on with it, Clue? Yo, Family. man, you do a lot of work here, man. I ain't gonna lie, like, I mean... I gotta stay working. Yo, as far as uh, staying focused and staying in the studio busy, man, like, you one of the hardest working I've known, man. It's so easy to get distracted, so... Me knowing that it's, it's, uh, it's easy to get distracted, I always just stay in the studio and try to block out as much of the, distract, the distraction as possible. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Certain things are just, I have to respond or I have to take care of. But besides that, I just I always want to stick to what got me here, and that's music. Right, right. Now, as, as far as this album, I mean, like, you dropped a couple of projects this year. Um, obviously, the one before this, you dropped the one with Juice World. Yeah. How, how, that, that was, I'm not going to say it was a weird collab, but it kind of come by surprise. I mean, first of all, for one, I know the kid, Juice Roy, he can rap real good. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, a lot of people think when they heard his first song that he just like, you know. That's why I gravitated towards his his, his work ethic. Right. And, and um, he good. Like, when you go in the studio with him and you're around him, you see his passion. And his passion was just overwhelming. i never seen someone as young with a passion and a drive that he had and just reminded me of myself and just give it, give back to just, you know what I'm saying, to um to that youth, that energy. You know what I'm saying? I felt connected with his energy and the way he the way he record, the way he create. And if we just we just made something that we just it was, it's supposed to have been a song. So because we are both record a lot of songs in one day, it don't take nothing but two, three days just to do an album. So it was like it wasn't nothing that it had to be we had to work on for months and months. That's dope, that's dope. Because basically us getting in the studio making a song instead of making a record when you got two artists that have a work ethic like that. We just might as well just knock out an album, knock out a project together. Right now, this new project is called The Wizard. Yeah. Um, what's the significance for the title? The, the significance behind The Wizard is me from the beginning of my career to where I'm at right now and just creating the zone that I'm in from just um just maturing and, and just growing and just reaching that level where I feel like I wanna make other kind of music. I wanna make different kind of music from the music that everybody always say, I want the old future, the old future. Yeah, I got some old future in there, but it's also showing me the growth. And that's what it's about. It's a road, it's a long road. It's the wizard. It's like the wizard of Oz. So you gotta know what's ahead of you. And I feel like I know what's ahead of me and what's ahead of the curve and I know how I got here, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna leave out the way I got here. But also I wanna see me grow. I wanna I want my fans to feel like I'm growing also. Now if if you had to yourself describe the old future, what would that be to you? It's just me, um the old future is me just creating I just always created around whatever was going on at that time, even if it's a negative situation, I embrace it and I create from it. And that just future is like some rock star. Like I live a rock star lifestyle, and that's me embracing the rock star lifestyle. No matter what's going on, what I feel like is a rock star lifestyle. It's just like unfiltered. So sometimes the words and the word, the way I express myself with music is unfiltered. It's like it may shake some people up, it might rattle some people, or you know what I'm saying. It might people might feel a way about it or have an opinion on things they might hurt that was true and they might see how I express myself of not of like this not caring attitude. So they're just future creating off whatever how you feel and what's already put out there. I think one of the things that you do best as an artist as far as in the press wise is like just letting people think what they want to think. Like you know what I mean you make your response, whether it be a one line or whatever it is and you know what I mean you just let them think what they want to think. I feel like lead more to the imagination because you don't know the truth unless you ask me. Right. You don't know the truth. You not. You don't know me personally, but you know what you hear. You, you haven't asked me was it true. Well, you haven't asked me my side of the story. So I just leave more to the imagination to just keep you second guessing, but also just keep you my name in your mouth and you keep promote me. It's like free promotion. Absolutely. If someone not talking about you, then you're irrelevant. But if they talk about you, they make you relevant and they make it last. You know what I'm saying? And you wanted. Uh, it's just a different moment. It's a different moment for me. So I had made that moment. You create moments, and sometimes the moments come from a bad situation. Sometimes it comes from a good thing, but it's up to you to create from the, uh, the to make the most of your opportunity. And that's for me, like to make sure my business is always right, no matter what's going on around me. 
I, I appreciate it. Good night, love, and joy. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm good, love, and joy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just that. regular talk for me, and just like people always just take. Even with me talking, and I talk on IG, and I'm talking on my live or whatever, and people just take my words. They take my words to heart because it's just how I talk. My words cut deep, and um, and just the gift, the gift, the power of words, the power of tongue. And I never knew that the gift when I was early, early on in my life, or like when I as a kid. But someone had taught me that. I mean, your words are always like, be careful what you say because your words are powerful. So I speak great things into existence, but also what I speak, like, if you're not super confident or if your self-esteem is not is not as high as mine, or half as high as mine, certain things that I say, it might feel like it's directed towards you, but it's not. I don't ever do anything for anyone else. I don't ever say anything for no one else. I always say things from my heart, how I feel at that time. It's never... Um, have like bad intentions, you know what I'm saying? It's just like when I say when I say things, it just seemed like, damn, he just have this emotionless way of expressing himself. Sometimes when I'm when I'm tweeting or when I'm having a caption, it's just me being me and me being how I am. Just I can't I can't make it up. I can't be no one else. I'm not trying to be anyone else. And I'm not trying to be uh, apologetic for something that I feel that. At that time. Let's go. Let's go, man. I like that. Now let's talk about the album a little bit, man. Um, of course, coming out on the eighteenth. Um, who'd you work with on this album, man? With the cat out of the bag. Uh, man, <laughs> me working with. I probably was working with. Um, I don't work with quite a few people during this album process, but when it's, when I break down the album and for this album, I wanted to be more just about me. It's the first album that I've dropped, solo album for the beginning of the year, and really solo project that I've dropped in a minute. So for me to drop a solo project, I wanted to be our future. I don't want people to feel like I'm piggybacking off somebody else. So I'm like, get back in the game with collaborations. I just came off 2018 with a collaboration album, collaborating with the Superfly soundtrack or whatnot. So it's just it's just about me being, getting back in my groove and um, taking control over my career and my and my music and connecting with my fans and rekindling that flame. No doubt. All right, we're gonna play something off the album right now, man. Uh, this is called Crushed Up, man. Talk about that a little bit, man. We crushed Up, me and Weezy, we had this in the bag for a minute. And it was time to let it out, let the cat out the bag. I appreciate Weezy, he always showing me love. Like Weezy, uh, one of my producers, is family, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I say one of my producers because we work so close with each other, but. Um, that's like Thug, in-house producer, my brother Thug, so, you know, that's family or whatever. And, um, he was working with Thug, he been working with Thug for a minute, and through him working with Thug, me and him, I, we had a connection before a little bit, we was working on, I was working on his record, but then me and Thug, I mean Thug brought us closer together when we was working with each other. It was like Weezy was our go-to guy at that time, still is, and um, we did Crushed Up. And you know, I appreciate Weezy for showing me love, like I say it. Here you go, right here, crushed up. Now, um, what you want to tell people so that they would go out and get this out, man? Like, what can, what can you, how can you describe it if you had to describe it and put in some short words, man? Uh, short words, I was very creative and I, um, hard work, man. I stayed in the studio days and weeks, not going home just to make sure it was right. I think the, the craziest thing about the whole studio, studio life and how the outside sees it, they see it as in you go in, you get a beat, you write for an hour, and you put this. They don't understand that you got to do, you know, countless hundreds of songs to come up with 12, 13 bangers. You got to have hundreds of songs done. They don't really understand that concept. Well, you have a passion for something, you keep going without even noticing them, how, much you, how much work you're putting into it because it's your passion. You want to do it. You feel like if you wasn't doing it, it'd be something wrong. If I didn't stay in the studio for 24 hours, if I didn't, man, try to make 10 songs in one day, then I'm not going as hard as I should be going because this is my passion. This is what I feel like I was called to do, to create, to make music. So if I'm not going that hard, something is wrong. If you're not going that hard for something you feel like you love that much, then 
you need to find something that you're passionate about so you can do it as much as I do music. Right. As, as much as I enjoy making music also. I feel like you're also passionate about uh, your fashion. Yeah, fashion is just a... Fashion come natural. It's just like whatever I put on, I just like going shopping and then whatever I put on, I just mix and match it. However, I just I don't really like um, put too much thought into it. I feel like fashion is a feeling. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, now, is there a visual to the wizard? Cause I seen you had like a little trailer you put on. Uh, that's the document. That's the documentary that's coming out. It's coming out um, January the eleventh. But it's the uh, the documentary, the wizard. It's like footage, seven year old footage. Oh, dope. Footage from seven years old, seven year um, old footage. Besides that, is uh, Mass Appeal, Apple Music, Epic Records. We did this collaborate, um, collaborate thing where they took some of the footage from um, my my in house producer, I mean my in house viral dudes, videographers, and then we took Mass Appeal. They came out and filmed me for three years. Oh, dope. And then. Uh, Put all the footage together and we made the documentary. The I wish you would have called me. I had some dope ass footage when we was at a, at a performance when you did. Matter of fact, Revolt TV stole my Instagram post of March Madness and they be playing it on, on TV. Like, you know right. what I mean? Because it was so crazy. I was like on stage, I was like right next to you when that song came on and the whole building shook so crazy. Nah, we had so much footage, we couldn't even put all the footage in the documentary. We had to save some footage, some footage I didn't want to. I didn't want to be out there this soon. I feel like, man, we need to just wait. Some things just better off. We waiting and giving the fans. But this is good. This is good. When I feel like everybody gravitates towards, they love it. When they see it, they looking at it. They think I'm opening up more than I ever talked before. I think it's a good thing. Right, right. I, I don't think people know how funny uh, Future is, man. You sit and talk with him, sit in a room with him, man. You might be. Cracking up for hours, man. Nah, for real. Everybody always <laughs> say that. It's hard for me to show it and display that uh, when you're trying to be serious 24 hours. But, but just for the people, you know what I'm saying? But besides that, man, personally, I always just wanted my personal life to be interesting and in something that you had to um, really be around me to understand. You just can't get that from going to my IG or just... Just, just going to a show. You have to really understand me by knowing me. If you know me, then you know. But if you don't, then I always left my personal life away. And I kept it out the light, the limelight for a reason. I just think that would just more lead more to the imagination. It just make you more of a, uh, a bigger superstar, I feel. Absolutely. I'm a super future in the building. We're going to leave with one of his new, another one of his new joints. He's talking about, you know, his lifestyle on the jets. Jumping on and off the jet. You know what I mean? Is that is that the only way you like to fly now, man? Private? Uh, it's not like the only way. Like when I go overseas, when I go overseas or go to Europe, you know what I'm saying. Wherever I'm traveling, I, if I'm traveling like two, it's just me and one person, another one, me and another person that I get on a commercial flight. But uh, majority of the time, then I'm be on the jet because it's just more comfortable for me. And you ain't got to talk to nobody and take talk to nobody, trillion you pictures. Do. You can just chill and vibe out. Yeah, you just get your privacy, just like privacy. You want to be like film that time. You might be in the morning, got to fly. Been going through something. People want to be you angry, and then you displaying that anger with a fan, and then you running off a fan. You just don't want to do that. But at the end of the day, I found a way to balance it out. So now when you don't have a big entourage, I ain't moving around with 10 and 14 people at a, at a time. It's just me and one more person, three people at the most when I'm doing this run right now. And uh, I can move around. I can go to the airport and I get that much attention because I can have a hoodie on. And I'm not having that many people with me. I can go there by myself. I can just walk up by myself until everybody just meet me. Right. So it don't be that much attention. Once you have a lot of people, they wondering, who is that over there? They got so many people with them. <laughs> you got dudes yelling. You got the hood with you. So it's just certain. They just uh, drawing certain attention towards you. So, man, now nah, it's good. You know what I'm saying? But the jet, most definitely a, a great thing. But... If you can save sixty thousand from going to LA to New York when you drive when you, when you ride five lot. hours and you can book a five thousand dollar flight and you save fifty five thousand, so you was going you was gonna spend a hundred ten thousand um there and back, you know what I'm saying? So I always look at it like yo man, I can save a hundred and ten thousand. I can just go shopping. 
You know what I mean? So you save one hundred and ten thousand for two flights. That's that's crazy. Two hundred and twenty thousand. I probably would always save one hundred ten thousand. So four flights. That's what four forty. Yeah. So if you saving that money and you start saving that money, then you start thinking like, oh, now I can put that four forty on the house. I can buy how many houses with that four hundred forty thousand? Absolutely. I could buy a business with that four hundred forty thousand. I'm at that age where at first it was fun to do. And it's of course it's fun, but then you start thinking about like, I'm gonna say a million dollars is a building now. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like you don't bought all your jewelry, you don't bought all your cars, you got your houses. Now now those million dollars ain't about just when you first get your million about the, the best watch or the best car. Now you have all that. Now these millions are building. Now these billions, millions are investments. Now this money turning. Now this show money turning into houses and properties. It's like just. Money you about to go and buy a ring, or you about to go and buy a watch, or there's something you got to buy somebody a house. I already done bought my mom a house. My she got cars. Everybody around me good at this point in my career. So now we're just about investing everything that I make instead of. So I'm 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 happy that I'm in a position where I can still be making music and um, doing shows and be consistent with that and. Sh- it's, it's a great thing. Now I'm thinking more wise. Like everything I make, I'm, I'm investing it back in, to myself or back, back into my family. And that's what it is. I mean, appreciate you coming through, man. The Wizard 118. You know what I mean? It's going to be installed. Go 118, the album is out. Yes, 118. Please get the album. I'm going to just let you listen to it. When you listen to it, Call Clue up and let them know how you feel about it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We can map it. Go on and then I get me on the phone. Then I get on the phone. Clue like, I need to get you on the phone because people keep calling me. <laughs> now they heard you say call them up, call me up when the album drops. So now they calling me. I need to get you on the phone. You need to answer some of these questions. These people want to know. I'm about to go to the studio tonight and sneak on the album. We're going to see how that works out, man. Right? Nah, you need to listen to the album. You come through <laughs> and listen to the album. And we're going to make some more music. Absolutely. I'm Ms. Power 5.1. Keep it locked, y'all.